What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we continue the gauntlet series for the Bose Ultra Open Earbuds, and their opponent will be the Soundcore Aerofit Pros. All right, we're getting up there to the real, real big ones. Some of my best uh, open ear head earbuds that I have. This should be a really great uh, head to head. So let's get to it. For those who want to see a price specs and app breakdown for each of these earbuds, I'll leave links in the description below to my unboxing videos for both. That way you can go ahead and take a look at that and then come on back and join us for this head to head. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at both of these. Real quick, we'll pull, whoops, we'll pull one of each of these out and take a quick look. Obviously, you can tell the difference between them. We've got, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> we got the, the, the Soundcore Aerofit Pros here, and we've got the, uh, <laughs> there I go, what in the world? The Bose Ultra Open Earbuds. I don't know what's going on with me this morning. All right, so as you can see, totally different styles. As you can see, the Aerofit Pros are just a little bit bigger, um, or a lot bigger actually, than the uh, Ultra Opens. Uh, still, uh, same form factor, just different ways of getting to the same place. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, Aerofit Pros real fast. Again, around, loops around the ear. You got your Soundcore branding here. This is basically actually one of my favorite uh, open ear earbuds uh, in my collection. Um, so I, I like the design. I like the fit and everything on them. Very comfortable. Uh, easy, again, light, easy to forget that you are wearing them. Um, not more so than the Ultra Opens, uh, but they, you can forget about. Very nicely done. Uh, really, really well crafted. Growth thought out by one more our sound core there. And of course, you've got the uh, Ultra Opens by Bose. A very, un, not say, I'll say not a unique uh, style, but a very in, uh, inventive way of doing things. I like how that opens, uh, how you got the opening band where it opens up, wraps around your ear, and then this portion sits in. It's very, very unique. You got your push button uh, for functionality up here at the top. And the Bose branding, which is, I think is hilarious, is tucked away behind the ear where no one would see it as opposed to it being here, which I would have thought they would have done. Uh, but they didn't. So there it is. Again, very, very unique uh, form factor here uh, for the uh, Bose. All right, so what we want to do now is we're going to go ahead and finish our testing and then come back for the sound test. Stay strapped in. This is a mic test with the Soundcore Aerofit Pro earbuds in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Soundcore Aero Pro Aerofit Pro earbuds in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Soundcore Aerofit Pro earbuds in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Soundcore Aerofit Pro earbuds in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Bose Ultra Open earbuds in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Bose Ultra Open Earbuds in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Bose Ultra Open Earbuds in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Bose Ultra Open Earbuds in a crowded location. All right, we are out back in my backyard. It's a little dark out. I'm going to try to find us a, a brighter situation here. All right, so could we do an ambient sound test? Let me go ahead and grab this for the Soundcore Aero Fit Pros. Now, as you can see here, we do have uh, them in the air. We got various things going off. We got central air units. We got traffic behind me. We got traffic to the street over here, uh, right behind the house. So what we wanna do now is we gonna turn on, let me find my phone. <laughs> we gonna turn on our ambient sound, or our, actually our audio, I'm using my my audio book as a uh, as a test bed, or to see exactly how much sound we can get, and still be able to hear all the outside noise. I also have some wind going, so we got wind noise and everything. So we should have a really good test bed here. So let's go ahead and get playing. All right, right now we are currently at let me see where we at we're at 50 percent volume all right so 
I got, I don't know if you guys can hear with the mics, but we do got a uh, central air unit firing off right here. Mine's just cut off before I got to start it, of course. Uh, the timing sucks, but we had that going on for a little bit. And right now at 50%, I am getting a pretty good sound, uh, my audio, and I'm also being able to hear the traffic and everything as well. Let's go ahead and go up to 65%. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. All right, I'm at 65%. Let me show y'all guys. I usually have that one marked off. 65%. Ah, let me show you. All right, 65% there. Wanted to show you guys. So we got that on. I'm still getting good audio from, the, from my phone, and I can still hear the traffic around me. So that's a really good uh, feel there. And then, so what we got is a really good sound, audio-wise as well as ambient sound, so I can hear everything and not worry about uh, my, my, or be aware of my surroundings. So a really good job for the AeroFit Pros. This has been the ANC, or excuse me, ambient sound test. I'm so used to doing earbuds. Really, really good, even at night. All right, we are outside uh, doing an ambient sound test with the Bose Ultra Open earbuds. All right, got them in the ear. We got traffic going. And every, everything else, we got crazy people yelling out the door, out cars and whatnot. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn audio on and see how loud it has to be in order for me to be able to get good audio and still hear my surroundings. All right, so we got baby face playing. All right, I got audio now. Let me see where we at. Right now we at about 50% volume. Let me get that in. I don't know if you can see it because it keeps tracking me. All right, let's do that. All right, so we got at 50% volume. And it's, I still, I hear it. It's pretty good. Let's, let's go up uh, 65. Let me say, let me show you guys. See my rocker. That's 65% right there. And I'm getting some really good audio. I can still hear everything. I can still hear the traffic and everything. And the audio sounds really good. So I can walk and talk and have these on and still get great audio. So about 65% works for me, which is pretty good. So this has been an ambient sound test for the Bose Ultra open ear earbuds. <laughs> this is really good. All right, we're back in for the sound test. We got the AeroFit Pros in, and just to keep it up 100 with you guys, there was an update for the AeroFit Pros. I went ahead and ran that, and we are back in. So it was basically a little uh, enhancement for volume, for sound and everything. So wasn't nothing uh, groundbreaking or anything like that to report, but it just helped out as far as overall sound for these guys. So we go ahead. And I'm gonna jump in and I'm gonna show you my graphic equalizer that I use for these guys. This is what I use. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and get into our music. Let me show we at our optimal listening level. Again, I'm, I'm being cautious of, of leakage because of uh, you know copyright strikes and everything like that. We don't need that. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get started. All right, again, nice volume. Vocal clarity is good. Again, you got the piano, nice background there. Okay, you're getting the echoing from the, you're getting the echoing from both, so you got a nice little detail there. Now here comes the background instruments. 
Okay. The sound stage opens up a little wide, nice and wide. And then we got, okay, nice little cello there. Again, balance is nice. Get a nice little bit of detail from the background instruments. I like that. All right, now we're going to get the uh, background vocalist in here. Again, again, sounds out, winds out a little, winds out some. I got vocalists in both ears, which is good. Nice detail from the uh, violin. Okay, very nice sounding. Very clean, very clear right there. I like the way that sound. All right, so let's go ahead and go into, we will do, uh, we're going to stick with Lenny Kravitz with this one, okay? I like the way this sounds. All right, let's go ahead and, and get in. All right. Again, nice volume, okay? It got nice detail with the drums and the guitars. Got that one on the right left here, nice. Okay, here's Lenny, here's Lenny Kravitz. Nice, clean vocals. Again, the just the detail of if the le if the guitar is on your left, you hear it out the left earbud. If it's on the right, you hear it out the right earbud. I love it. And the drums is nice in the back. Very clean. Again, again, so I love that separation detail. Very clean. Gives you that one that that feel as though the uh, audio is around you as opposed to uh, right in front of you in a box. Very clean. All right, so let's go ahead and get into our final song. I really like the way that sounded though. Here we go. Again, nice little, uh, nice start off. Sorry about that, lost my words again. Uh, it's early. All right, got good keyboard drum combination there. Lee saxophone comes in nice and crisp. Very, very nice sounding. Very clean. I really enjoy. I really enjoy the way this sounds. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna go up one more. All right, we good there. I mean, I really can't even hear the difference there. I think that's it. There's a high note. All right, again, the saxophone sounds very crisp. Now we got the rest of the instruments coming in. And you got detail there, which is nice. You can definitely, uh, yep, you got the piano there in that one first, the detail there that's been hidden. Uh, I like the sound. I really do like this sound. All right, very clean. I like the balance. The lead saxophone didn't sound like it was recessed, very crisp and everything. I just like the overall sound there. Uh, again, one of my favorite uh, open ear earbuds that I have, and they definitely uh, show why. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to get this swapped out. We're going to put the Ultra Opens in, and we're going to run them through the sound test. Stay strapped in. All right, we're back in. We got the Ultra Opens in the ear ready for the sound test. I want to show you guys quickly we are in my e here's my equalizer settings for these guys and i want to go ahead and turn off immersive audio just to keep it fair i know a lot of people will complain you should have that on but i think i can get a little better representation when it comes to just music uh when it comes to with, with um we're having it off when um if i'm listening to like a podcast or i'm watching a video the immersive audio is my it does a lot a better job in, in that aspect. So let's go ahead and get into our music. We'll make sure we at optimal listening level. Let me make sure we are there. Eh. All right, we're we're at the same level as we were with the uh, Arrow. <clears throat> excuse me, the Arrow Fit Pros. So let's go ahead and hit play. Okay. 
already you can tell nice volume a little bit more crisper sound though the vocalist sounds a little bit crisper than it did with the Aerofit Pros. The piano sounds a little bit crisper, a little bit sharper. We got the definitely got the vocal, the echoing detail. Sorry. Now we got the rest of the band coming in, the background instruments. They seem a little brighter, but you're still getting nice detail from them. And again, got that little cello there. I'm just impressed by the vocal clarity and the and the detail from the other background instruments. All right, now we're going to get the uh, the background vocalist in here now. Again, very clean, very clear. Sound stage widened out. Again, I got new. I got vocals everywhere. <laughs> Left earbud, right earbud, they sound fantastic. And again, the clarity, the vocal clarity, the instrumental clarity out of these guys is amazing. All right, again, these are guys are at a little disadvantage because these are set a little further back from the ear canal than the Aerofit Pros and just about, I think it's about every, I think every one of the ear, of the earbuds has been in this gauntlet series. So again, very, uh, very good despite their setbacks. All right, so let's go ahead and get into uh, Lenny. Here we go. Again, right off the top, nice volume. Nice wide out soundstage. Um, instrumental detail is great. Got that guitar in that left earbud. Love it. Again, vocals coming in very, real nice and clean. But these instruments sound nice and crisp. And again, like I said, sound stage is wide open. I got guitar in my right ear, got right ear, got guitar in my left ear. Drums right in front of me, Lenny Kravitz right in front of me. So it's well-rounded. Nice 180 degree field of audio, I like that. And the clarity, the balance is top notch. Oh man, these are really, really impressive earbuds. All right, so let's go ahead and get into our final song. Here we go. Again, very nice start off. Keyboard drums, nice and warm. And the clarity, Lee saxophone, here we go. Very crisp. Very clean, I man, that sounds good. And the balance is there, so everything's evenly balanced. Oh, I love it. Okay, and now we're gonna get, now here comes the high note. Oh, that's so crisp, so crisp. Now we got the rest of the instruments coming in. Background instruments. And you got detail. Let me hold on. Let's see what we got. Yup, we got detail from the keyboard in the back. Little, little uh, melody there. And again, you got the other set of drums. You got the other guitars in. So you got great detail. Great, great detail with these, with these uh, headphone earbuds. I don't know why I keep going to headphones. There I go again with these earbuds. I'm very impressed with these. And again, these guys are at a disadvantage because they're not as close to the ear canal as the other ones are, uh, at least to my understanding, the way they sit on my ear and everything. But they sound really great and give you great detail. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get this cleaned up. We're gonna come back. We're gonna find out. Uh, we're gonna do a little discussion. We're gonna find out who the winner is of episode number five. Stay strapped in. All right, we're back in. Let's go ahead and talk about these two earbuds. Wow, I want to keep saying headphone. Earbuds. <clears throat> uh, as far as sound, they both have really great sound. I like the, uh, like I said, all I said to use the Aerofit Pros are one of my favorite open-ear headphone earbuds. Mm. Open-ear earbuds <laughs> uh, that I'll have in my collection. 
Uh, they show why uh, they had really great sound, uh, nice uh, sound separation, uh, good, good, um, good, clear vocals and instruments. Uh, they just had a really good uh, overall showing on all three songs. Uh, I couldn't complain about oh, closing by accident. Sorry. I can't complain too much about these guys at all. All right. Now going over to the uh, Bose Ultra opens. I mean, these guys are surprisingly good. All right. I know. And they got great uh, volume, natural volume. Very is great there. They got uh, great. Uh, uh, as far as clarity, top notch vocal and instrumental clarity on these guys. Sound separation is great. Um, it's just really, really good at for an open. I mean, surprisingly good for an open ear earbud. Again, a lot of people say, yeah, they're Bose. They got it. Like, yeah, but this is a totally different realm for them. This is something very brand new uh, for this company. So I, not brand new. They did have another open ear uh, earbud out there before this. Um, I'm not going to say I so for saying brand new. I'm lying. I apologize. I'll take that back. But this is a reinvention of that uh of this foreign factor for them um because they had that other boats they had their other open ear here but out i think didn't do too well but they came went back to the drawing board came up with this form fact and i think they nailed it with this one as far as vocal clarity and uh sound and everything goes with these both like us both of these uh had great uh showings here in this gauntlet series but if i had to pick a winner I would have to go with the ultra opens because these guys has a much uh, better clarity when it came to instruments, more uh, a lot crisper as well as vocals as well. Very clean. Um, just, just an overall better package when it came to vocal instrumental clarity on these and uh, the volume uh, naturally match that of the uh, sound cores, but I have to give these guys the win. Um, still, I do love these guys though. These are still one of my favorites, uh, in my collection, but again, matching up with the Bose, uh, they didn't see, they didn't, uh, quite make the cut as far as, uh, vocal clarity and, uh, instrumental clarity and sound. Although they do by standalone, they do sound good. All right. So the winner of episode five will go to the Bose, uh, ultra opens. If you guys like what you see, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to join me as I continue this uh, gauntlet series, we got the finale coming up. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Definitely, definitely pound on that like button. That all of it helps the channel. And of course, I got other another gauntlet series coming up with the momentum four. So I know you guys want to tune in for that. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.